So we're gonna give you an update. We are building a Dodge D-150 in 1987. We got it tore apart, which, you know, no big deal, right? Yeah, it's a mess. Check this out, look at it. Truck sat for a few minutes. Look at a mud dauber nest on the rear end. That's pretty ugly. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to do a rear end flip kit in the back. And we are gonna get rid of the little eight and a quarter rear end. We're gonna put in a nine and a quarter with the small bolt pattern. Cause it's got the big bolt pattern in it. And uh, the wheels that I wanna use, small bolt pattern, the twenties makes life a little easier. Somebody put hangers on the back, which we're gonna leave them on there. That way we can play with ride height a little bit. Uh, we're not gonna beef up much back here. We're gonna leave this alone. We're just gonna paint it, make it look nice. And uh, you know, redo the exhaust, obviously. That's all rotted, looks like shit. And then we also have the inside of the cab. Jeff right now is working on cleaning this up and getting it dyno matted. Check out the floor. Look how solid that floor is. That is unbelievable. It looks like it just rolled out of the factory. It's so clean. Um, we had to do a bunch of wiring. The dash has been out of it uh, at one point in time. And uh, I ended up finished fixing the wiring and all the heater controls and everything and put it all back in. But we're gonna re-dye the interior. We are gonna stick with the red and black because I think black vehicles, red interior just looks cool. Uh, someone before me, wasn't me, started shaving off, you know, the old emblems and the holes and everything for the mirrors and uh, which, you know, that's all right. We're gonna just continue that and do the body work, make it look right. Up front, someone's already lowered it, but they heated up the coil springs. Now, don't get me wrong. The thing actually rides very good. I mean, I know a lot of you guys are going, oh, you heat up the coil springs, it rides terrible. Well, if you cut out the bump stop, you heat up the coil springs and you heat it up the right way, this thing rides like a Cadillac. I'm not even gonna lie. But we're gonna gut all that out of there anyway because we're gonna do van lower control arms and uh, we're gonna do two inch drop spindles with 20 inch wheels. The problem with that is, is I personally have never done that far of a drop with 20 inch wheels on a D150. So we might have to modify wheel wells, I'm not sure. And I'm also gonna be cutting the lower control arms and sucking the wheel in about a half to three quarters of an inch because I know every little bit's gonna count. And uh, we got um, Brian, uh, was it Brandon Fruits uh, upper control arms uh, I got from him. He's making them right now. We're gonna put them on. But here's the rest of the truck. It's just a 318 two barrel. We actually got all the wiring fixed and even have the air conditioning working. I was up late Sunday and doing body work to the bed. So the bed's in really good shape. And, uh, but I did have a couple little rust spots here. I had one right in that vicinity and then one on the other side. But the bed itself is still pretty solid. So we'll keep you posted on the uh, build. Basically what it's gonna be is just a repaint. We're gonna paint it black, make it look good, polish all the trim, put it all back on. We're not gonna delete the trim and uh, redo the interior. Probably do a leather seat, red leather. Uh, stereo system, 20 inch wheels, slammed exhaust and driver. But the big thing is gonna be, hopefully we put a Hemi in it. Maybe not this winter, but We'll keep you updated on the progress of the truck. See you guys later.